Hello preschool families, this is Miss Gabby from Excel and today I'm here to talk to you about activities that you can do at home with your child to help them develop phonological awareness. If you came to school and picked up an activity bag, then there are a few things that you will find in your activity bag that will be very helpful with this. For starters, if you open your books, you will find these two bookmarks that are just simply wonderful. They give you fantastic tips of ways that you can read your book with your child uh, to help them get the most amount of information and learn the most out of them. It'll give you some tips to what to say and discuss with your child before reading the book, during the reading, and after reading the book. It also has a great section with some words and phrases to learn, which uh, has some child-friendly definitions that you can use along with the pictures in the book to teach your children new words and help them develop and expand their vocabulary. Now, if we take a look at the activities, we have two fantastic activities in the pack. We have this activity over here and this one over here. One is for rhyming and the other one is for syllable count practicing. And I just love them and I really think that your children are going to enjoy them as well. First, let's talk about the rhyming activity that looks like this. To play this game, you will only need two things. Your rhyming cards and these clothespins that would help your child mark the rhymes within the card. So if you look at the very first card, those are your instructions. So you will point at each picture and read the words aloud. So for starters, let's use this as our example. So if you look at this card, the very first picture here at the top is a picture of a map. And then under that, we have a picture of a car, a cap, and a can. So what you're gonna do is say the words aloud for your child and say, okay, let's listen for the word that rhymes with map that sounds like map that has that same sound at the end so you're gonna say map car then you're gonna repeat map cap and now map can now the reason why we always want to repeat that first word is because our children are still learning to listen for that ending sound in the word so if you just say it at the beginning and then you use the three other words below it, they might forget that first sound as they're listening to the other words. So when we tell our children map car, map cap, and map can, they will recognize the rhyme and the way that they will mark it is with this little clip. So they will just grab their clip and put it in the rhyme, which for this particular card it's the word cap because map and cap they both say up they both have the same ending sound so they rhyme remind your child that that is what it means to rhyme and have them say the words aloud now i'm gonna also challenge you on an activity challenge your child to do a little extra so let's say for example if they've already matched map and cap, have them think of an additional rhyming word or many additional rhyming words. So it could be map, cap, tap, and they can go on and on, even if they make up their own words and the words are not real. As long as they rhyme, they're getting the concept. So go ahead and play with these cards. There's plenty of them and we have, you know, two little clips in case that maybe they want to play the game at the same time with a sibling or something like that. It can be a really fun activity for them to do together. Now, the next activity that we have here is our syllable count activity. And let me pull that out and let's talk about it. This is a really, really fun activity. I really love it because it is about counting syllables and I love it when children practice and count syllables with me. If you see here, we have an example page. So first we have one syllable, which dog is a one syllable word. 
Then we have a two syllable word, which is lion. And then finally, we have our last three syllable word, which is banana. So remind your child that they can clap for syllables or they can even just put their hand under their chin and pay attention to how many times their chin goes down. So for dog, dog, one syllable. For lion, la yon, two syllables. And finally, for a three syllable word, ba na na, three syllables. This method, it's really efficient because every time you open your mouth to say a new syllable, your chin goes down. So your children can pay attention to their chin going down whenever they say a new syllable and it could help them split their words into syllables. So now this is your sample chart. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix this up, mix, 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 put them facing down and have your child pick up one card at a time. In this case, I got the card of a kangaroo and have them split that into syllables. So we have can, ga, ru, three syllables. So what you would do is you will have your board sitting flat on the table and you will have your children just put it right below the box that it belongs. Um, do this activity, you can make your own cards um, and even you can do things like grab something that is just laying around the house. Like let's say for example, we have this mouse, use the mouse, put it in the right spot. Children have tons of little toys and things or crayons or just something small that they can put in these spaces. So for example, this mouse has mouse, one syllable. So you can just put it under the one syllable space. Remember, have a lot of fun with it. I'm sure your children would enjoy it and try to enjoy it with them. It was really wonderful discussing our activities with you today. I really enjoy having you here with me. Now, let's go to our raffle. Okay, families, time for today's winners. I'm gonna be calling the last four numbers in the ticket. Okie dokie, we have two winners today. The ticket ending in 5074. Once again, that number is 5074. And the ticket ending in 5058. Once again, that number is 5058. If I just call your number, please make sure to send me a picture of your ticket and we'll make sure to have a price for your child. Thank you. See you next time.